Hey guys, I'm pretty excited to have this uh, have the truck back again. I had to rebuild all the all the the lights in the bumper. Um, there's there used to be two markers over here, one right there where the orange one was or is. One, two, three, four, and the other one. So there was seven lights all together, and most of those guys were dead. So this is the wire harness. <laughs> oh man, they only had there it is. Heat shrink and uh, heat shrink with uh, glue wrap, uh, glue line heat shrink, four to one shrink ratio, and uh, everything soldered. Everything is waterproof. I reused the old bracket wire wheeled it and painted it um, there was some discrepancies with the actual wire pattern in here it might be inside out or whatever but um, I think this one here will work I, I got the pop-up camper I could hook it to sometime and check but the reverse lights work so um, so the idea in the beginning was to have this whole bumper run off of the um, off of the tail light converter that would normally power your trailer so um, what happens over time I got to come in here and show you I've been using Hopkins products for the uh, for everything pretty much and here's the mess there's a pallet junk here's a pallet junk I gotta head to work I don't have time to clean it up but I'm sure the kids will do a good job um, I'm not sure where the converter went they should be in the trash can Here's the old trailer plug. Absolutely rusted. After two years, that thing is, is junk. And I do not understand how on, on earth. I always thought that a vehicle's obsolescence was around 10 years. So how on earth is that supposed to work? There won't be anything left to plug into after three, four years, you know, so or five. So this converter here died. Usually what will happen, this is the second one I've changed in the in the last couple of years, so usually what will happen is the light that cycles the most often dies, so that's going to mean your turn signals will die first, and they usually usually very random in their death. They kind of come and go and work and won't work. And then the other one, you don't need this. You don't need it. Here it is. Brand new, brand new Hopkins converter. Junk. So every circuit in here worked except for the tail lights. So I'm gonna go outside now <coughs> and explain some things. So, um, so if you don't know, most cars or trucks will have, they'll have reverse, they'll have turn signal, they'll have brake lights, and they'll have running lights. So basically that takes all this, uh, where's the inputs and outputs, here's your vehicle input, so take all those wires and then reduce it down to, to three wires and a ground. So works pretty cool if you want to run trailer tail lights on your bumper. So this time I've taken the tail light wire, so on this controller, so on this controller the I splice, I split the wire ahead of the controller and ran the one wire into the controller and the other one to the to the uh, marker light. That one at least lights to work if the next controller fails. The next controller I've used is a, a Kirk brand powered tail light converter. So I turn on the running lights. I had no running lights on the on here, which is really weird, but the, the little I knew that I had power going into the controller box but not coming out. The other funny thing was the turn signals worked, but the running lights did not. So this thing was a fluke from brand new. So basically what I did, I went to Canadago, got me a got me a Kirk controller, chopped these wires off, chopped it off over here, spliced a new one in, boom, everything works. So last night I got the 
I got the seven way plug hooked up. I got the trailer brakes hooked up and the and the flat. So so I splice, I split off the I split off the running lights into two different circuits. <clears throat> the con the converter powers the uh, running lights on the on the trailer lights and then the the truck wiring powers the running lights here. So on the on the turn signal now, as you know, the converter powers the turn signal, the red turn signal, and then the amber turn signal is powered off of the truck's harness. That way if the converter fails, I'll still have a turn signal. And I'll still have my third brake light. Usually they don't fail though. So <laughs> sounds like sounds like a cry for help, but all we need to do is we need to get this truck through one more winter and then next summer we'll decide what to do maybe we'll just run into a tree we'll burn it down maybe it'll burn down itself maybe i'll crash it this winter and i'll just light it on fire and walk home that's that's all right all right so i don't think this door is closed there we go now it's closed so i actually unlatched the hood ahead of time because i want to show you guys something so I have, here let me, yeah this is, I don't even know how to hide my own hood. I need to go back to kindergarten. I think they uh, teach kids, I think they teach kids, oh bad scratch, naughty boy. So as you know I got, I got the fog lights that don't work, I got, I got light bar up there fog lights and I got I got the the necessary lights if your truck is really wide which this is not but um you know ego is a wonderful thing so uh so I got one light two light three lights running off of the running off of the battery up here which you need power up here and a brake and a brake light and a and a trailer light converter and a trailer brake so these the the auxiliary lighting is not really what worries me. It's a it's the uh, it's a trailer converter and the trailer brake. Those are on all the time. And if they fail in any way, um, guess who's gonna gonna burn their trucks in the ground? Not me because I got a bucket in here full of some some stuff you know that you need. So I got a relay, here's the ground, fuse, fuse power, <clears throat> power takeoff, and that's probably not power takeoff. Anyway, I got this plastic block here, I don't know why it won't focus. I got this plastic block here where all the power is taken off the relay. So, um, I don't know. Good, good spot to keep your extra fluids because, because you know you need them, maybe. All right, guys, that's a wrap. Don't, don't buy Hopkins products, even though I've still got... I still got that, that plug right there is a Hopkins plug but it's of a different design and I use some silicone to try and waterproof it because I actually do enjoy wiring. Um, it's just the part where um, <laughs> the part where I run out of money. That's the part where it really goes south. Um, so I took off Friday, I worked on it Friday, I worked on it Saturday, I worked on it Sunday, I worked on it all day yesterday. and. Um, I think I worked on some other time. But anyway, um, there was one night uh, before a couple weeks ago where I actually sat under it and undid a bunch of the bunch of the wiring and stuff. And one other important thing I might point out is inside the bumper there's a little brace, so the ground starts there, and then there's a good bit of length, and then it joins a black 12-gauge uh, wire that runs all the way across, picks up all the grounds, and I ran out of wire, so. Now it's bolted right here, and I gave it a good spray with um, that fantastic stuff. What's it called? Um, 
Ah, da 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 da. Let's throw it and run in here and see. Some kind of rubbery stuff. <sighs> do, 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 do. There it is, Plasti Dip. Plasti Dip seems like a pretty smart choice because A, it peels off, and B, it should seal should seal out the moisture. It's on the front of the support, you know, away from the salt spray. So, you know, the back of the bumper, man, that thing fills up with snow. It fills up with dirt, mud, salt, salty snow and ice. It's just a horrible place to work. Um, even though you can sit under there, that, that part's not too bad. Except where, you know, you can't feel your legs or your pelvis or anything and and um, the nerves are screaming in pain and you can't sit or stand or do much but lay down and cry yourself. Cry, cry, you know. Cry because it's so fun. Anyway, <clears throat> that that's a wrap. Thanks guys for watching. I'm headed off to work or whatever you call it. I can't wait to get back to, on the welder. It's been a while. Alrighty. Thanks. See ya. Bye.